When I heard about Nifty, I was very happy because it is non-invasive, it's very precise, it can be performed in the early stage of the pregnancy and the only thing that I have to do is to give a little amount of blood. The non-invasive prenatal diagnosis method, the one that we're talking about now using cell-free DNA, the detection rate is well over 99%, much higher than the conventional screening test. And the false positive rate, it's 0.2% or lower. It is just the best screening test that anybody has ever devised for Down syndrome. Now, opting for something like nifting, which is non-invasive prenatal testing, means that we can increase our possible detection rate to a much higher level and significantly decrease the number of ladies who actually have to so the detection rates in the order of 99% and less than 1% needing an amniocentesis. That means that we're going to identify a much higher percentage of the babies with Down syndrome and do much fewer invasive tests. The knock-on result of which they have very many fewer miscarriages. We had a wonderful midwife who said, well, there's an amniocentesis or have you heard of this new blood test that's available? And we haven't, have we? And, um, John immediately said, if it's safe for the plant to do, that's what I'm going to decide on. I knew that there was a 1% chance of damage to the baby if one was having the same thesis and I was determined that we should use the non-invasive test. It was the safe one. Defense was that the baby was going to be safe. Yeah. 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 It was the safety factor for us, but also the convenience, and just the fact it was a blood test. So it was just, you know, just thought wonderful. But I'd never heard of it, John hadn't heard, yeah. heard of it. If it hadn't been the midwife telling us, we wouldn't have had a, had a clue. Mm -hmm.